everyone, it's Jen, and today I'm doing another DIY video. I love doing DIY videos, and today I thought I would show you guys how to make your very own bath bombs. What? Yeah, that's a thing. I'm pretty late on the bath bomb train. I just started getting into them, and I started buying them pretty recently, and they, I, I don't know why I didn't buy them sooner. They look amazing, they feel amazing, they smell amazing, they are just amazing in general, and I've been obsessed with them. And even though they are amazing and great and the best things in the world, they can get pretty expensive because I ain't got no money. So I was wondering if there was any way to make your own bath bombs, like at home, and so I went online and I looked it up and there is a way to make them at home and I was so happy and I was so excited. So I started doing some research on Pinterest and Tumblr and YouTube of course and I learned how to make bath bombs. I made some two days ago and I used them and they worked just as great as a Lush bath bomb. They smell just as great, they look just as great, they felt just as great, they were just as amazingly. That's not a word. So I thought I would show you guys how to make your very own bath bombs because they're really fun to make and they're actually surprisingly easy to make too if you have the right ingredients, which I'm going to show you right now. And also at the end of this video, after I show you how to make it, I'm going to be doing a demonstration in a bathtub to show you just how amazing it works. So let's get started. So for the bath bomb, you're going to need one cup of baking soda, half a cup of cornstarch, half a cup of Epsom salt, half a cup of citric acid, three tablespoons of any essential oil that you please, and then one teaspoon of water that I spilled all over my desk. Yep, clean that up, clean it up. And then you're going to need some bath bomb molders. Now these are actually plastic Christmas ornaments that I got from Michaels, but they were great as bath bomb molders. And then lastly, you're going to need some food coloring depending on what color you want your bath bomb. Now all these things I got from Target except for the molder which I got from Michaels. So now you're going to take your mixing bowl and just start putting in all your dry ingredients. Your citric acid, your baking soda, your cornstarch, your Epsom salt. And then you're going to put in your liquid ingredients. So this is going to be a body oil that I'm using to give it scent. It is coconut and hibiscus. And you're just going to put in three tablespoons of that. And then lastly, you're going to add your teaspoon of water and then you're going to just start mixing it all up. Now while you're mixing it, you're going to want to start adding in your food coloring. So I want to make my bath bomb a pink color and I'm using a red food coloring. So I'm just going to put in a couple drops of the food coloring at different intervals of the mixing process. And now we're going to move on to the fun part where we take our molders and we just start putting the mixture into the molders. So once you're done with that, you're going to take both halves of the molders and you're going to put them together. Yep, that's right. So once you put them together, you want to start brushing off the excess mixture that's coming out of it. And then you're going to want to, well, what I like to do is I like to pat it down so that way the mixture doesn't stick to the molders. And that way it's easier to come off and make a better shape. So each mixture servings, that's hard to say, should be enough to make two bath bombs. And um, so yeah, just go ahead and make another one if you're feeling it. And once you're done with both your bath bombs, you're going to keep them in their molding case and just put them off to the side and wait for them to dry for about five or six hours. And then you could take them out and start using them. All right, the bath bomb is done. It's been five hours, so we're going to take it out and try it out. 
So yeah, let's do that. So what you're gonna wanna do now is carefully take it out, as carefully as you can. Whoa, there we go, yeah. All right, there's one side. Ooh, perfect, wow, look at that, beautiful. So now we're going to put it in the bathtub, yay! Now it's time for the moment of truth. Woo! Yay! Ooh, it looks it looks peach orange on the camera, but it looks great. So the bath bomb has completely dissolved and it's looking pretty pink. I like it. About to take a step in here. Ooh, feels nice, feels great. Aw yeah. All right, gotta go guys, time to take a bath. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more weekly videos, follow me on all my social media down below and I will see you guys next week, bye.